Ferris Sports Update. Time to check in with Bulldog Men's Basketball, joined by head coach Andy Bronkema. And coach, welcome to the show. Glad to be here, Robert. I know a couple uh, games at home this past weekend, and uh, nice to be back at home after uh, playing three straight on the road. Yeah, you know, the schedule comes back to you, and you get to, you get to be at home in your own bed and your own gym, and um, it's an advantage, and it certainly was this week. Uh, the, the crowds were great, and the uh, atmosphere was great, so that was huge. Obviously, 18-3 and three overall, 13-0 and 0, uh, here, still unbeaten in the conference, going into uh, another busy week uh, here this week, and nice to see uh, that unblemished record still intact here in the GLIAC. Yeah, that's, that's important, you know, as long as you want to win them all. So we're trying to, and if, if we don't, we'll just try to win the rest. You know, that we always say that. But, um, yeah, looking forward, we got four of the next five on the road. So we have another stretch here that's going to be challenging. And, uh, you know, if our first loss comes or when it comes or if it comes, you know, we'll deal with it and try to use it to get better. As we go to the highlights, we'll start with Davenport, uh, Thursday night matchup. And uh, today we're actually recording this on Monday. You're going to play them again tonight, so we won't – Talk so much about that game, but uh, playing them uh, twice here in a five-day span going to make it interesting. Yeah, it's kind of like last year when we were playing back-to-back -back games. I mean, it reminds us of that just because it's such a quick turnaround. Um, there's certainly things both teams are going to want to change. Um, go ahead, Robert. I was just going to say, obviously, here in the first half, got off to a, a good start on Thursday night. Had a 10-point lead here at halftime. Yeah, and I think we grinded that 10-point lead out. You know, we hit, we hit a shot at, at the buzzer, and, uh, you know, that kind of gave us a 10-point lead and a little momentum. Um, you know, Davenport is, is very talented. They've got a couple of injuries, and I, I think a lot of teams in the league do, you know, as do we. Ours happened early, so we've been able to adjust a little, a little bit longer than maybe Davenport or some other teams. And, you know, COVID, and they've missed some games, so this is a makeup game coming up. But um, they just have a bunch of talent, and their chemistry is just not quite there. But when it is, it's, they're, they're tough to guard. I mean, we gave up high percentages to them. And, uh, you know, they really made some plays on us, so we're going to have to try to clean that up. Obviously, I saw a couple of plays right there at the end of the first half where the ball kind of bounced your way, and uh, that sometimes happens when you're, when you're playing some good basketball. Yeah, you, you know, you make your own luck, and, uh, wow, that was a really nice play, some really nice individual plays. And our, our, Robert, man, our guys have been playing so well. That wasn't one of them. We gambled for a steal, and we don't teach them to do that. But our, our guys are playing well. They're, everybody on our roster is, like, playing to the best of their ability or, or – really the best that they've ever played um, in their careers. So that, that's a good thing. And there's room for them to grow, no doubt. Um, and some of them will want to play after, after Ferris, and they will. But I'm just impressed with how well everybody's playing individually and then collectively. Obviously, in both of these games this weekend, kind of led by uh, two seniors, Dorian Louie and Logan Ryan, your leading scorers in both games as you get the 91-74 to win in this one. But nice to see two veterans that are uh, really playing some great basketball for you. Yeah, our, you know, starting with our seniors. And then everybody's just play, being a star in the role. But those two guys are playing great. And, you know, Walt's an All-American um, every which way. And, you know, he gets a lot of attention. And, you know, we go elsewhere. We share it. So, um, but he, he's been having a great year. And then Lee coming in and just fitting in the way he has in one year has been remarkable. Came back on uh, Saturday to take on Grand Valley State. A special moment right here to start the game is – uh, Vias Grisoulis, his brother plays uh, for Grand Valley State. Marius Grisoulis uh, sang the national anthem. It was a really good moment that, you know, both squads created and a, a memory. And, you know, their brother, AJ, was, was in the crowd and he played at Michigan Tech and their parents were here and, you know, they were decked out in Grand Valley and Ferris gear, which you don't see a whole lot. And it, it was just really cool. The crowd appreciated it. They got really loud. And then when they matched up during the game, um, you know, they got even louder, you know, because it was kind of a, a, a thing. So it was real special, and uh, it's one of those moments in sports you're not going to forget. But uh, And then Bayes went on to have a huge game for us and some real, real big momentum-changing plays. That That's an unbelievable play right there. You know, that's two athletes just playing above the rim and uh, just incredible amount of talent on the floor in this game. And I, you know, I know that's why a lot of people showed up, but the, the GLIAC is like this. And it's just, you know, we got to get a TV deal or something because these players deserve to be seen on, on both sides. They're remarkable. Obviously, a great crowd on hand. You mentioned it and uh, got loud uh, here. Uh, is this one late in the first half, but into the second half, especially uh, loudest it's been in a long time. Yeah, it, it was really, really loud, and we needed it. You know, we needed every bit because we had a little. We built a little lead with that momentum. Ooh, dipped in his own mess. Um, and. We needed every bit because they came back to one point and Lee hit some big three throws at the end. And, uh, you know, just 
kind of gets blocked out there while he fell down, but uh, I guess he blocked him once, had to give him the dunk back. Those, those guys are really good players playing at a high level. Dorian and just some really, really good matchups here, um, you know, with the four and the five. And not sure how that's not a foul with the arm on the back. I mean, I'm still not going to give that one up, Robert, but, you know, he's got to be a little bit more um, protective of the ball uh, on his end. But, you know, it's like a DB, reminding me of a DB when they don't call it and they wrap around and they knock that ball down and somehow it's, it's okay. But real, real lucky there, you know, we didn't match up the way we were supposed to. And he got a pretty clean look deep, but it went out and, uh, you know, we were victorious. One of those games where you had to battle back after falling behind by eight points. You took a double digit lead and then kind of had to withstood uh, some plays down the end. Uh, fortunately, uh, as you mentioned, Lee Higgins, uh, a senior for you, wanted the ball and hit some big free throws down the stretch. Yeah, we, we, we didn't match up in transition for a stretch. You know, it's just like we thought the game was over uh, once we built that lead. And we just thought, you know, but they didn't cave and they made they made big plays, big steals. Um, but then we, we dialed it back in. We got calm. We got the ball in bounds. Um, we have good free throw shooters across the board. So, you know, we can throw it to a lot of guys. And Lee found the ball and made, made big free throws, real big. Obviously, this week uh, back on the road, uh, we mentioned the, the Monday night game against Davenport, uh, Thursday night big matchup at Lake Superior, and then back at home uh, for another Monday night game against Northwood. It doesn't slow down. You, you look at some conferences around the nation, and you know, they got four or five games left in the next three weeks, and we have seven. So, um, but we're not going to complain about playing games. We like to do that, and we'll take each one serious and each one individual. And, um, you know, they're just standalone games, one at a time, and um, res respect our opponents and see what we can do. Obviously, after everything that everybody in college basketball went through a year ago, uh, just to be in this, this stage right now here in the month of February with a lead here in the GLIAC and some, some big games left, uh, I, I know that means a great deal. It, it does. You know, we're these are things that we've set out to try to do, and uh, the pursuit of them is what's worthy. You know, if you can do them, that's awesome. You know, but if you don't, it's it's still a good thing to pursue excellence, and that's what we're teaching them. We're extension of the education here, uh, the sports programs, and that's part of the education we give our guys. You know, we're go we're going for excellence, and uh, we're pursuing that and everything that's involved with that. But it feels re it feels really really good because well, last year felt really really bad, and. Um, you know, it would just, everything was stripped from us, everything we loved, you know, and we, we, we really couldn't operate and we couldn't practice, we couldn't do anything. Um, we tried, we tried so hard, but, you know, we failed. And sometimes you do fail, but it was temporary and now we're back at it and, you know, it feels good. Well, Coach, thanks for the time. Congratulations on the two wins this weekend and uh, best of luck this week. All right, Robert. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this. Oh, say does that star -spain.